So team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday, man. It sucks. I'm, I'm a little under the weather right now. Uh, I don't want to be sick for Super Bowl. That's annoying. But anyway, Super Bowl, it, it should be really good, man. Who y'all got? Who y'all got between the Chiefs and the Eagles? Anytime somebody asks me, I mean, I say Eagles, but it's, I, I just don't know. I just put a random name in a hat and pick. Because, like, it, it could easily go either way. I just expect it to be such a fun, a, a great game. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, and then I've, I've been seeing all these, like, TikToks and stuff and all these memes and stuff with people talking about, oh, I hope Rihanna don't start singing that um, the Lift Me Up song, the one from Black Panther. I like that song. I like it. But I guess a lot of people don't want to hear it. But anyway, take it clean. Um, things are going to start heating up really soon. Uh, when it comes to Ravens and their offensive coordinator search. In my opinion, it's just me. I ain't know nothing from nothing, but it, I think that they're going to hire somebody by the end of this week. I do. Um, because they've obviously had guys in for first interviews and second interviews and whatnot, and they still got other guys that they want to bring in for interviews so they, they they still have some more options that they just waiting on right now obviously it will be probably eric b enemy from the chiefs if they interested in somebody from the eagles uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but it, it, it could be a possibility but i think that things are going to really start moving very very fast reason being because of the timing um and not just fast for the ravens but fast for anybody that's looking to fill current coaching vacancies on their staff because Super Bowl is the last game of the season. Oh, and that's sad. That's sad. The season came and went so fast, man. And now this will be the last NFL game that we see until August. And it will be the last game with starters that we see until September. So six months for preseason and then seven months for regular season. Now, that sounds... That sounds really like scary when you say it out loud, man. But anyway, we uh we we got y'all covered as far as the off season and all that. And I appreciate y'all real quick again. Thank you for um, thank you for making this season what it's been. I appreciate y'all for for supporting the channel the way y'all have. I appreciate y'all for being so consistently engaged with the channel. Um, just leaving likes on the videos, commenting, subscribing, telling people about it. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the questions from subscribers. I appreciate everybody who's a patron. I appreciate everybody who's a Team Keep It Clean channel member. I appreciate just everybody uh, who appreciates the channel. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for uh, spending a lot of your time with us throughout this season. I, I, I really do appreciate it because it's something that you don't have to do. You can spend your time doing so much other things. And you still do spend your time doing so much other things unless it's one of them days where it's just a bunch of videos and stuff keep happening left and right and left and right and left and right. But nah, I seriously appreciate y'all a lot. Um, but anyway, back to the, the subject at hand. And I appreciate y'all that don't mind when we go off on a little tangent. Because sometimes we can take it there, take it there, or whatever. But anyway, um, the Ravens, uh, things could pick up rather quickly uh, for them and everybody else. Because they're just waiting on this game to be over. They're waiting on this game to be over so they can start interviewing possible candidates from the Chiefs and the Eagles. Along with candidates that they've interviewed already. So it's like, I feel like teams are just waiting, like, all right, we interview guys on first interviews, we interview guys on second interviews, okay, we know what we like, we know what we dislike, we got some guys on those two team staff, Chiefs and Eagles, that we want to talk to and see what we could possibly get from them, uh, see if they will be willing, uh, and if we will be willing too. So I really do think that this, is, this week is going to be a big jump for, really, for everybody. Um, and then it's like it'll be one of those things. I think it'll be sort of a domino effect where one guy, he could get hired, and then a, a lot of other teams may have that particular guy on their list too. And they, once he gets hired, it could be like, oh, okay, well, cross him off. Uh, and then they move on to somebody else, the next best thing. Um, I know with Chiefs, obviously, Eric B. Enemy, uh, he seems to be the hot name right now. Uh, and again, this Commanders have been listed as a team. Uh, the Ravens have continued to be listed as a team. Uh, then the Colts, even though uh, whenever you hear reports about Eric Bieniemy and the Colts, it seems like it's, it's an outside chance that it happens. It doesn't really sound likely or sound promising, but hey, you, you never know. Things could take a turn in a whole nother direction. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Cliff Kingsbury, 
It looks like he he may end up being become a, becoming an offensive coordinator uh, because he is apparently back from Thailand, uh, and he was talking to D'Amico Ryan's, the new head coach of the Texans. You know, I was I was like I was a little scared for him taking that job. You know how the Texans done did the past couple of years and whatnot. And I okay, D'Amico, hey, you used to play there, so maybe instead of one year, they'll give you two. So we'll see how it goes uh, with him, but I, I do hope he does excel in his new role. Um, as a head coach like and think about it like for those of us that uh remember watching D'Amico Ryan's play like that that just gives you a reality check man that just lets you know like hey you're getting kind of old now baby because it's like when when you watch the player when you watch the player play in the NFL you even play with this player in Madden and stuff and then Years later, this player is becoming a defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, running backs coach, coach, whatever, and then they become a head coach. It's like, whoa, wow. But anyway, um, so, yeah, candidates are going to be moving. Um, and I, I, I do think that the Ravens, again, my opinion, I think that they make their decision uh, on offensive coordinator this week. Again, too, because of timing, timing, uh, because – Free agency, it starts, uh, I think, in a month from today, I believe. I think it's on March 12th. It's either March 12th or March 14th, something like that. But um, people are going to want to know what kind of offense that you're going to be running. I mean, people are also going to know who your quarterback is, too. So we'll see what happens with that. And again, again, with Lamar Jackson, we've been hearing this and we've been hearing that. We've been hearing all these different rumors and reports and stories and this and that. But, again, like we keep saying, we don't know. None of us know what's going down. We don't know what's going down. Uh, we can think about what could happen. We can think about all the possibilities. We could think what we think is going to happen, but we just don't know. And we won't know till we know. Now, um, again, with that, keep talking about timing. Um, with the Ravens, uh, I was just talking to my guy about this yesterday um, on Twitter. Something's got to get shaken with that because... Whatever you do with Lamar, like the decision obviously has to be made by March 7th as far as the franchise tag. That's the deadline to place the franchise tag on a player. But then at the same time, Ravens got extra work to do because when, when free agency starts, you have to be under the salary cap. You, you got to be under the cap. Um, now, uh, for the franchise tag, though, when you designate a player as a franchise tag player, I do not believe it goes on the cap if they don't sign it. I believe you could designate it to them. You'd be like, all right, we're franchise tagging you. But if they don't sign it, then it doesn't apply to the cap, I don't believe. So if that's the case, then Ravens would would have a little more leeway and a little more wiggle room. The reason I say that is because I don't expect Lamar Jackson to sign a franchise tag. I, I don't expect him to sign it. If, if he's going to stay with the Ravens, I expect him to sign it like way later. Way later. Um... And, I mean, hopefully they can get a deal done. But if if they're going to trade him, which hopefully they don't, um, but if they do that, then I don't think he was signing until he approved of the team that he was being traded to. Uh, and then they came up with a long-term deal for him. Uh, but anyway, if the Ravens placed the franchise tag on Lamar Jackson um, and they did it on March 7th and, and he signed it, then the least amount of money that it would be would be like 32 mil. Ravens right now have a little less than 28 million cap space, so you cannot start the new league year over the cap. You have to start the league year under the cap. Now, you could do restructures and you could do this and that, but so we're going to see. We're going to see. But I, now that I think about it, I, I don't anticipate that being a cap problem. And what I mean when I say that, I don't, I don't anticipate that 32 mil or 45 mil if it's the exclusive tag. I don't anticipate it even being signed, so I don't think it'll even apply to the salary cap this season. But we'll see because it's it's tricky because uh, if Lamar like really really wanted to put extra pressure on, I mean it's a lot of pressure on the Ravens already. If you want to put extra pressure on the Ravens, um, then he could sign whichever franchise tag they designate to him on March seventh. And that would put them over the cap. That would put them over. Now, if it was a 32 mil, which I don't anticipate it being, but if it was a 32 mil cap hit for the, the non-exclusive franchise tag, then um, then they would be only like four or five mil over. So that ain't nothing. But if it was a 45 mil, then they would be 17 mil over. 
Yeah, because they got about twenty eight million cap space, so they would they would be seventeen mil over the cap. So you got you got to do a lot more work with that, like that that five mil versus seventeen mil. That, I mean, it don't seem like a lot, but yeah, you got you got to do a lot more gymnastics and stuff like that, financial gymnastics and whatnot. So Ravens got some decisions to make, man. Um, and Lamar he continues to have decisions to make. Ravens continue to have decisions to make, and um, this off season. Is I mean these these past couple of off seasons I feel like so many more of us have all just really been learning and understanding more and paying attention so much more to the business side uh, of football because we just we've been getting a lot more insight on it consistent insight on the business side of football uh, so a lot more people I feel like have been more interested in the business side of football. Um, so we're going to continue to hear more and more about stuff here and there, rumors, reports, stories, this, that, and the third. Um, but again, all of those stories are cool. All of those reports are cool. The rumors are cool. Da, 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 but we won't know till we know, till something's official. Um, the next thing I expect being official is the franchise tag on March 7th. But hey, hey maybe they might come up with a deal before. Hey, you never know. You never know. But we'll just keep waiting and watching. Anyway. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Um, enjoy the Super Bowl. Uh, this, again, like, it's, it's been a real fun season. It's been a really, really fun season. Uh, it sucks that it's coming to an end, but it's been a good one. We we, we had a lot of fun on here with Team, keep it clean. I, I just been enjoying uh, y'all, the jokes. i uh, been enjoying the growth. Um, been enjoying the uh, the positivity. Been enjoying just everything, man. So I love y'all. I'm very grateful uh, for everything that you all do. Um, so keep it up. Y'all keep it up. We out.